power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. In this video, I want us to listen to some remarks made by Silvanus Osoro about two days ago. Remarks that are still generating a lot of heated political debates. <laughs> Yes, that Silvanus Osoro, the government's chief whip in the National Assembly, and he's not mincing his words, he's admitting in broad daylight that he is a corrupt leader. Before a member of parliament travels abroad, you must part with something small for him before he approves of your travel. That's corruption. And Osoro is just admitting that he is corrupt. And he's also saying that Yeyesio Maskini, he has been in parliament for some times. So he's telling Bomet residents, Wasipige Kelele, Wamsikize, after which Atawalipa. That's a man who is clearly drunk with power. And uh, his wealth, or the money he has, seems to be driving him crazy. I want us to dig deep into all that for Kenyans to see what that means and what it tells us about William Ruto's government. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, Subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. Yes. What does that mean? And what does it show us about Ruto's government? The remarks by Silvanus Osoro are a confirmation that birds of the same feathers flock together. And I'm saying that because out of all the members of parliament, Kenya Kwanzaa members of parliament, Ruto only saw Osoro Fit holding that office. And Ruto himself, if you look at his track record, not once or twice, he has been accused of corruption. So you are seeing Birds of the same feathers are flocking together. That's coming out very, very clearly. And then secondly, it also exposes that Kenya Kwanzaa's leadership, they don't care about integrity. Integrity to them is not an issue. They are actually wheeler dealers. They don't care about integrity. And that should also be a lesson and a warning to Kenyans. Before you elect a leader, look at a leader's track record. If you elect quacks and criminals, there's no, they'll not stop being criminals. In fact, you are just giving them the powers to continue with their criminal nature. And I'm saying that based on what we are witnessing in Kisi. There is a lot of insecurity and fingers are being pointed towards the same Silvanus Osoro. So that also exposes Sub Osoro as being drunk with power and because integrity to him is not, not an issue 
is nothing to him. He sees no problem in actually using our security forces in Kisi to further his own criminal activities. And I'm saying that also based on what we witnessed today in Kisi, where the governor, Kisi Governor Simbarati, woke up and found his offices actually surrounded by GSU, misuse of power. Osori is also talking about GSU Maschini. When they were campaigning last year, they were saying how the Mahasolas, right now is bragging to the same Mahasolas that he is your maskini. Nyamaza alafu muniskize alafu nitawalipa. Hiyo ni madarao. Another confirmation that the little Osoro has is actually driving him crazy. He is full of himself and a very proud leader. And how I wish residents of Kisi could actually wake up to the occasion to humble this member of parliament. Osoro has only been in parliament for about six years now. And already you can see the kind of bragging and chest thump thumping he's actually getting himself involved in. And it also paints a very bleak picture of Ruto's government. Kenyans are basically dealing with the criminals. So as Kenyans are waiting for this government to deliver, the, the leaders in the, in the said government are just enriching themselves at the expense of ordinary Kenyans. And I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it this way. It might be possible that this government is deliberately making Kenyans poor so that they can use money to buy Kenyans come the next election. And Osoras just exposed that trick. Kenyans should actually stand warned that if you allow a politician to buy your vote, then these are the kind of leaders we are going to end up with, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. As I conclude, it's a fact, and this is not far-fetched, that Kenya Kwanza government knows it has failed to deliver. So the only language they know they can use to appease the masses is the language of tokens, kitu kidogo. And that's how Ruto campaigned in last year's election. And you are now seeing his foot soldiers also now using that same same strategy. And also if you look at the Azimio rebels who are joining William Ruto, they have also started that politics of handouts. And for me, I see it, that's very unfortunate and actually erodes mm -hmm leadership and integrity. Mm -hmm. Kenyans are now being left with no option but to elect leaders with no integrity simply because they have been given something small. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. And to any other person who may want to support us here, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through that number or feel free to channel any kind of a support to that number. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.